Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I show you uh, how to show the error uh, validations on a TOS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to can transfer data from one activity to another activity. Let's add one activity in your project. Thank you. Give it a name as a second activity and finish. It's syncing currently. Yeah. Let's move to the layout file. I'm going to add a text view in the center of a screen. So here we drag it and setting its constraints so the, from right, left and top and bottom so that it will display on the center of the screen. So it's here. Making it a little bit big. Yeah, there you go. So now setting its ID as we need it in the activity. So text you welcome. And giving it as a default text welcome. Now move to our main activity. Here let's remove this toast and I'm going to show how we can set the inline error messages. So let's remove it and copy this username input dot set error and define your error message and please enter username. Similarly, we are going to do the same for the password. Password input dot uh, set error. Please enter password. And remove this. Here we are going to write the code for passing data, username, and password to second activity. So let's create an intent. Intent. Bracket this. second activity and intent dot put extra and pass a key and value so I'm going to give a key as a user and the value username similarly for the password intent dot put extra and the key as password and its value now we need to start activity and pass this intent okay let's go to the second activity and here we are going to read that data to display on second activity so intent dot get a string extra and pass the key for username and store it in a local variable that is username same thing for password well password equal to intent dot get string extra and pass the key which we gave on the previous screen make sure it should be the same text you welcome which we gave the ID for our text view where we are going to display this text. Text view welcome dot set text is the method and then we are going to pass this data. So welcome username what we entered on the previous screen comma you enter as to it entered and the password which we are reading from the previous screen yeah. looks good let's review once and see okay let's close this activity as well so we don't need to have the login activity in a stack so let's call finish and that's good to me 
yes for username for password and this uh, let's run it and see our result let's click on login okay it's showing our inline error let's enter some value learning click on the login button now it is asking to enter the password this is how we can show the inline error message let's click on the login button and you can see both the values here so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please comment like subscribe and share with your friends thank you for watching thanks for your time